Good evening, everyone. Northeast Wisconsin's already waterlogged, so can the ground handle any more rain? Well, we may find out soon. We showed you last week the effects of a storm that especially hit Door County hard. Houses became flooded. In one case, we found it was because of an overflowing toilet. Seven inches of rain hitting some parts of the area then. Later tonight, several more inches could fall, and Fox 11's Eric Peterson shows us how Door County is bracing itself again. On the outskirts of Bailey's Harbor, water still covers parts of Ridge's Road and closer to town. This area over here, like the playground with the water running into the storm sewer there. Bailey's Harbor Clerk Administrator yeah. Doug Smith says he's never seen anything like the storm that soaked his town last week. Smith still can't work from his basement office. A lot less humid. The carpeting's still a little bit damp. But he'll be on the job Tuesday night. I'll probably be keeping a close eye on radar, and, and I've got a direct line to National Weather Service now that I can talk to them. So I, I'll be monitoring things closely, as will my department heads, the fire department, our town constable, wastewater departments, uh, public works personnel. And just across the road at the Nelson Shopping Center. We've had a busy uh, four or five days. Some pumps, fans, and dehumidifiers have been selling quickly. We made a special run down to our distribution center and picked up extra equipment for the people. In many areas, the water is retreating, but more rain is on the way. We're not quite sure what's going to happen. Door County Emergency Services Director Dan Williams says dozens of responders are on call to deal with potential flooding. We don't have a lot of topsoil like a lot of other places in the state have so the it doesn't have a chance to really absorb much so it's the, you know we get and then when you have it st water standing there's just no place for it to go in the meantime people here are bracing for another wet couple of days we're hopeful we won't get what's predicted but um, if we do we'll, we'll deal with the with the aftermath in Bailey's Harbor Eric Peterson Fox 11 News to be sure, that rain last week was troublesome for a lot of people in the area. Oh, and it was indeed. Patrick is watching now to see if round two tonight and tomorrow will be similar. He is on storm watch for us this evening. Patrick? Yeah, and part of the problem last week was we had a new number of rounds of thunderstorms move through the area. This time, I think it's going to come down very quickly in a short period of time. We have flood watches in place for almost the entire state for tonight and most of the day tomorrow. And with that flood watch in place, I'm expecting one to two inches of rain likely for just about our entire area. Some areas will be near three inches, but we can't really tell where that heaviest band is going to be yet. Rain and storms will start around midnight or 1 a.m. The heaviest rain between 4 o'clock in the morning and about 10 o'clock in the morning. Look out for torrential rainfall driving into work early tomorrow, rising rivers and the possibility of standing water. The storms are already developed down in Iowa and heading this way. And with that, we're going to see some very heavy rainfall coming in late tonight. And remember, the heaviest rain is going to be falling during Good Day Wisconsin tomorrow morning. Pete Petoniak will have an accurate look at rain totals and the latest radar, and Phil DeCastro will be out surveying the storms in the Fox 11 Storm Chaser. Michelle?